I have a question. If you're Muslim, if you're Catholic, um, Buddhist, Jewish, whatever your religious preference is, I have a very uncomfortable question. If God were physically still here on this earth, would he update the Bible? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'd just like to thank brother Tyrese Gibson uh, for his very good question which he posted on social media a few days ago where he asked the question if God was still on earth today would he update the Bible? Now I know that Tyrese you're a, you're a Christian. In the video that you posted a few days ago you actually speak about a lot of the dysfunctions in society Dysfunction, trauma, drama, issues, murder, rape, molestation. Some would say the world is going to end soon. How much stuff would God include as far as insight, information, and direction and clarity? How much more clarity would he give us on how to deal with today's challenging times? Now, one of the things that actually got me questioning Christianity was similar to what you're going through at the moment where you're questioning is the Bible enough you know does the Bible stand throughout time does the Bible stand for all nations and all times and the problem is is that it doesn't now I want to share with you some of the points which led me to put the Bible down and then to pick the Quran up and to look into the Qur'an to see if the Qur'an is what it claims to be. Now first of all, I just want to speak about the two perspectives of the Bible and the Qur'an. Now many people don't really know this, but the Bible is a collection of writings by different men about the prophets. Okay, So if we look at the New Testament for instance, it's a collection of writings by people such as Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and various other different authors speaking about Jesus, peace be upon him. Now these are a collection of writings after Jesus, about Jesus, okay? Now from the Islamic perspective, we believe that God revealed revelations to different prophets throughout different times. So from a Muslim perspective, we do not accept the Bible as a revelation, okay? Now there's many things in the Bible that agree with Islam, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's revelation. So the question that you pose is, would God change the Bible? Now from a Muslim perspective, we don't believe that God even revealed the Bible. We believe God revealed original revelations to the prophets. Okay? Now the question is, would God, well, the question which you pose is, would God, uh, if he was here, change the Bible or update the Bible is irrelevant because what we have today is the final revelation from God which is the Quran. Now let's let's put that same question of would God update the Quran and the question is no and the reason is we know that the Quran is the final revelation from God okay the Quran in the Arabic language is the direct revelation from God it's been fully preserved for 1400 years. We have many uh, non-Muslim scholars which actually state that the Quran is fully preserved for 1400 years. Now it's interesting because the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he mentioned many 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 prophecies of signs of the last day and if you go onto YouTube you can check them out, the major and the minor signs of the last day, things that have to happen before the final days come. What's interesting is you speak about divorce, infidelity and one of the signs of the last day is that women will be dressed but they will be naked and when we see today we see the way women dress uh, in a, in a non-modest way we can see that almost then they, they're naked and even to the extent that in England recently they painted clothes on a woman and she walked down the street with a painted pair of jeans on and nobody even noticed. In your video you mention this problem of evil, okay? You speak about all the bad things that are happening and it leads you to question 
of what's going on. Now, funny enough, this is actually a question that many people throughout time have had a problem with. And many non-Muslims call this the problem of evil. Now, from the Islamic perspective, this is not a problem at all. Why do bad things happen? If we have a God, why do bad things, ha things happen? To the extent that the Archbishop of Canterbury, the head of the Church of England, recently in an article stated on the BBC, sometimes he doesn't believe in God because of this problem of evil. From an Islamic perspective, this is the whole purpose of life. Okay, Allah tells in the Quran that our purpose of life is to worship God. Okay, in that everything is an act of worship, but Allah also tells us that this life is a test and that we are going to be tested with good and bad. Okay, so Tyrese, when we look at you, we see that you have such a successful life, mashallah. This is something that Allah has blessed you with. He has blessed you with wealth, He's blessed you with fame and, and happiness. Okay, He's given you all these bounties, good health. Okay, and this is a test that you have been given. We see some people in the world that are given a test of poverty and sickness. When we look in the Quran, we can see that badness and goodness, these things that we see, are all tests. And as a Muslim, we want, Allah tells in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, He tells us that we will be tested with loss of lives and wealth. Okay, We're going to be tested with many things. We're going to be tested with good and bad. And Allah wants to see what our reaction will be. And Allah tells us that the ones who are patient, the ones that say, to Allah we belong and to Him we will return, those are the successful ones. SubhanAllah. So actually, in Islam, we don't believe that this such thing is a pure evil. Okay? That everything, what, everything bad has a goodness. There's a good thing in it. And when a badness comes to you, this is a test from God to make you stronger and allow you to gain a higher place in paradise. Tyrese, you've got lots of questions, okay? I'm inviting you to meet me. Yeah, wherever you are in the world, I'll come and meet you. Yeah, we can have a coffee, we can have something to eat, and you can ask me questions about Islam. Let's sit down and let's speak about Islam. Alternatively, if you want, just send me a video, send me some questions through Facebook. Brother, we'll speak to you soon. Peace be with you. For all of you spiritual folks that know the Bible, know the verses inside out, I need you to educate me and others. So it's an honest and open question and it's some dialogue that I want to learn from and I think we all should learn from.